In the news, making a fuss over ferrets. The black-footed ferret was thought to be extinct, gone forever. But a colony was found, and experts want to make sure the ferrets live on. We'll be back with black-footed ferrets in the news. Way B, I'm so into my workout. With a taste of nuts and honey. Nuts and honey? We're a honey on the nose. We're honey nut Cheerios. Mmm, like wow. Honey nut Cheerios, part that's nutritious breakfast. Super. It's a honey on the nose. It's honey nut Cheerios. And now, ferreting out ferrets in the news. A ferret is a little animal once used for driving rats and rabbits out of their burrows. That brought about the phrase, to ferret out, which means to force into the open. Today, in western Wyoming, wildlife officials are ferreting out black-footed ferrets. They used to live in 13 western states, making meals of prairie dogs. But many prairies have been turned into farms, and people have killed more prairie dogs than the ferrets have. The black-footed ferrets ran out of food, and it was thought that they'd completely died out, become extinct. Then, about four years ago, a colony of 50 to 60 black-footed ferrets was discovered living on ranches near Matitsi, Wyoming. Experts say they're the only ones left in the whole world. Recently, scientists decided to capture a number of them and try to raise them in captivity. That way, they figure, even if these remaining wild ferrets die out, those bred in captivity will survive. The rescue program is risky, though. Very little is known about these animals, and they get sick easily. No one's sure they'll survive being penned up, but captive breeding is seen as their only hope. Meanwhile, the ferret furor has turned the nearby town of Matitsi into the self-proclaimed ferret capital of the world. Lucille Hogg, the town ferret queen, says the little critters stink, but they also help her store's business. I'm Christopher Glenn with Black-Footed Ferrets in the News.